Hey everybody, how's it going? Back here once again to play some games. Uh, this time, some new old games. Uh, well, I don't know why I'm not on the right games. Uh, they added 12 new games to Atari 50. The celebration continues, I think. I think it's the anniversary celebration, that's right. I was trying to remember what the, the title for the game was, the full title. Because for whatever reason, streaming it on Twitch, uh, they do not have the game in their their uh, categories at all. So just streaming retro, which is perfectly fine. But uh, I wanted to uh, check out these new games. They just added in an update. Uh, let's see. I think it might have been... Uh, wait, when was this? Yeah, this is last week they added them. Uh, so we got a chance to check them out. Uh, in their holiday update, 12 new games. A few of these are prototypes. I'm going to try and find out what I can about these games. Because, uh, yeah, some of them are prototypes, not official games uh, or homebrew games and such. So, uh, yeah, Adventure 2 has been on a few Atari collections over the years. But, yeah, it's like an unofficial sequel. So... We'll hop in. Uh, we got yeah, 12 games here. Most of them on the 2600. Uh, one on the Lynx, which I think was one that they were hoping to get on at launch, but one thing or another just kept it from happening. But let's jump into Adventure 2. Yeah, officially released 2005. Um, yeah, for the Atari Flashback 2 plug-and-play gaming console. Uh, yeah, based on the Atari 2400. 5200 game thing. Um, oh, I think I have to do a thing. It's been a while since I played this collection. Like, I have to go. Okay, yeah. I did a thing to like reset the game. Okay. I also, um, yeah, it's. Oh, they made a manual for this? Okay. I was gonna say I don't know what the the controls are, but okay, they got. I'm not gonna remember any of this. I just want to know controls, basic. Okay, X. Uh, do they have anything else here? Mm, not really. But yeah, Adventure was a, a very cool game uh, for its time. Wait, what? Nope, oh, I keep hitting that. Um, yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, original, filter off. Order off? That might be better. Oh. Dragon's doing something. Oh, geez, what? So, yeah, this was kind of a maze game of sorts where... I got the bat somehow holding the... Oh, the bridge. Okay. I think I know a little bit about, mainly from what I know of adventure. Oh, it's a dragon. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. What? Okay, what? Oh. Sure, whatever. There's a bridge that goes somewhere. What? The bat? What? I don't... What? It's like looping off to the side of the screen. Oh, no. Oh, that's still the thing. I don't even have a sword. Like, I think we're invincible? Okay, the bat took the bridge okay I don't I officially don't know what to do oh I just wait what yeah there's no music on this uh, that's probably where a bridge would go uh, where where'd the bat go or maybe up here we're not going to play a ton of all these games. Some of them are just not... Okay, there's the 
key. Does the bat have the dragon again? Oh no, I got the bat. Okay, I got the bat and the key. No, that's up. Bridge is over there. Somehow. Okay, that's... We're in? Okay. What? Where'd the... Did the bat just take the other key? Is the bat just taking stuff? Where's the bat? And a bridge? No clue what's going on here. Other than there's the dragon. Yeah, the dragon looks like a duck. Oh, it ate us? I forget how... Oh. Does this not have... Oh, is that a different collection? Oh, I'm forgetting my collections. I didn't save either. Or no, it's... Okay. I got the bridge now. Oh, there's the key. I don't care about that key. Oh, it took them both. Oh. Yeah, we might not play this one too much here. Uh, too much more. Oh. What's it gonna do? Like I'm just stuck in its stomach. I just have to reset. It's got the key, but not a thing I want. Where's the bat? I just went off screen. Bat, where are you? Bat. This probably isn't the place I actually want to go. I want to go down, I think. And then uh, around. No. No. Oh. Uh. See, I'm stuck. Oh. So, yeah. That's Adventure 2. Uh. I'm, I've never been a big adventure fan for the, the Atari stuff. Um, let's see, what's the next one here? Most of these are Atari 2600, as I said. Okay. Um, bowling is the next one here that is new. Yeah, 1979. It's a basic bowling thing, but... Well, players to hook and even steer the ball after it's thrown. Oh. Larry Kaplan's last VCS game for Atari before leaving the company to co-found Activision. Okay. Very good noise. Uh, exactly what you want to hear in a bowling thing. Oh, I keep I keep hitting options to reset it. Steve knocking down all the pins. Oh yeah, it has that kind of thing. Yeah, neutral, curveball up, curveball down. Uh, in games three and four, you can steer the ball up or down while it is moving down the alley. Okay, five and six are straight ball games. Cannot be altered after it is released. Okay, you have the position. One, three, and five are one player games. Okay, so this might be one where we switch to... Is full more what we want? Full might be more what we want here. I'm trying to figure out some of these control things. 
Maybe go for the clean, cleaner look here, even though it's you know, simulating the TV look. Okay, yeah, we can move here. Okay. Like right there. Should we all get what we want? As you can tell, it's very good for uh, audio stuff. Try right here, right down in the middle. Oh. Yeah, I want to see how this sounds on your side. Yeah, that sure is a thing you can hear. I kind of wish you could have individual audio settings on this game. Yeah, it's not gonna do it, but solid try for that. Um, I was gonna say, is there anything else here? No, not really. Left difficulty, right difficulty. Oh, the black and whites in the color version? Okay. Now oh, we're fine. Oh, almost. We'll do a little more here of this game. Not exactly one that's we need a ton of. But hey, we're getting uh, get some decent uh, stuff here. Rolls here. Okay. There we go. Yeah, dancing, dancing on the on the lane there. So. Should be right on. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Oh, well, we'll get it. We'll pick up that spare. Nope. Mess that up. All right. Same thing. Yeah, I'm trying to mess with the the curve stuff a little bit here. There we go. That's what the ninth frame. Oh, I like that they just stack them up like this on the uh, on the score. Or it's just a grid. Essentially, ooh, almost got that last one. One forty-three is like a pretty decent score. I wouldn't get spares this this easily, but yeah. I think it gets us to, yeah, 161. Okay, that's not too bad. How's this player? No, it's just... Here's more. All right, so that's bowling 2600, or bowling on the 2600. Um, I like they just li list here, curveball, steer steerable ball, straight ball, one, two players. Just, here's all your modes. Yeah. Are gonna make it hard, I guess. Yeah, because the, the Atari 2600 had a difficulty switch on it. These ones have to do actual things in them. 
in uh, one of the reimagined games. Uh, what's next here? Double dunk. Or no. Yeah, this isn't. Yeah, Aqua Venture. Yeah, this official listing doesn't list these in alphabetical order. It kind of does, but then it's. They add Aqua Venture here. So that's one we missed here. Uh, there's also Circus Atari, so we'll get to that one as well. Alright, I need to look at a manual. I think this is a game that's gonna be too complicated, but yeah. Wait a second, where... Where did this one come from? Because this is a prototype. A yeah, victim of the 1983 industry crash. Aquaventure was completed, but left unpublished for years. It doesn't appear in Atari internal documents of the era. Officially released on a 2600 cartridge in 2022. Yeah, they've been doing that of late. Uh, okay. Instruction manual. Let's see how this one gets played here. Let's dive down the deep ocean trenches. Let's see. Your companion tracks the sea turtle. Okay, fire button. Okay, that's X. Okay. We'll shoot in the direction you're facing. Okay, we have to do something, I guess. Oh, good. He left his notes. We'll find a treasure chest. Let's see. Okay, that's enough. Reading. Oh, uh, what? Oh. Oh, I'm getting eaten by fish left and right. Okay, we're going... Oh, jeez, the art style changed. What? Oh jeez. Oh, I'm losing score every time I die. Or was. I can just keep shooting these guys if I want. So I'm probably better off just not in... I was gonna say, better not off not engaging with the fish. I don't know what the air stuff is. Cause yeah, once you shoot them, they become super aggro. And I need to go on the right side of these fish. That's where you get a lot of your points. Yeah, we got the mermaid. And obviously, that's how everything works. Oh, uh, is the turtle your... Yeah, the water's extra blue here. This art style's okay. Okay, oh no. I... Uh, Like, having all these jagged sides is, like, novel for what this was. Oh. I didn't. Yeah, I'm playing with the, the left stick here. This doesn't seem like it's complicated, just control-wise it's a little weird. All right, there we go. 
Now these fish are up here. These fish are down here. Let me go into like the eels. Ow. All right. Back down. Oh. Alright, I got that. Oh! Eaten by fish again. Pretty decent animation on the diver. Ugh. Alright. That's enough of that one. So yeah, there you go for that. Uh, Circus Atari is the next one here I have on the list that is not alphabetical as much as it should be. Yeah, it's a variation on breakouts, uh, but with a circus theme, so... Uh, very likely inspired by a similar Exidy arcade game simply titled Circus. Alright. Player share balloons. Okay, these are two player. New screen of cleared barriers. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is a paddle game. That's what's going on here. Oh, it just smashed. This is one of those games that's much harder on a... What? Oh. I'm trying to figure out... Nope. Yeah. Oh, is that the end of the game? Goes into the green man. Have to reset again. Okay. Yeah, this is one of those games that is probably much harder. Oh. There we go. We got one. One block. Eight points. It's literally hard enough that they give you points just for hitting the the seesaw here. So we got 14 points. There you go. World record. Let's try to again see if we can Oh, 4 points. All right. Okay, touchpad does work here. Maybe that's better. Oh, we got a few. It's 28. Double or high. Oh. Oh. 35 is pretty good, though. Oh, 41. Okay, there's 41. Well, let's give it one more try. I know the touchpad's there. Oh! Wow. Oh, 96. We're going to get triple digits, but... I can do decently. There we go. Holy crap. Got to 100 already. Oh. Wasn't even paying attention, really. Oh. 
153. Take a screenshot of that. Save that game. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's not a complicated game, but yeah, as it says right there, use your paddle controllers, which obviously we have with that. So, oh, I didn't mean to hit that. We play by one or two players, seven, eight, or... Okay. Game 3 is called Breakthrough Circus. Clown does not rebound off the balloons. Wait, what? Game 3? Oh, jeez. So I should go. Maybe try that. Um, let's see how that goes. Somewhat easier, my butt. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that that's better. Okay, so that's Circus Atari. I'm not expecting to spend a lot of time on some of these games. Uh, what's next? Double Dunk? Dark Chambers? Is that new? Or is that just new for where I left off on this game? I think it's just new for me. Alright, Double Dunk. One of the few... Uh, not a few games produced. 1989! Holy crap! Two and two half court contests, true to life details like play calling, foul detection, shot clock violations, and three second line lane violations. How many Atari games with a logo screen? Okay, holy crap. Uh, what? That, that wasn't me, was it? I don't... I immediately don't understand how to play this. Oh, let's... You spent the day playing some friendly two-on-two -two basketball uh, when you just just wrap it around. Uh, you and your buddy are psyched. You've aced the last three games, and the other guys are getting desperate. Your inside man dribbles deftly towards the basket, but if their man moves in quickly, if he gets the man moves in quickly, if he gets the ball, you may get bounced. Your television switched on, insert the double dunk cartridge into your Atari 2600 or 7800 as explained in your owner's manual. Uh, make sure, let's see. Into the left controller port one player. Game options. Wait, what? Controls. Okay, the, the, the controls are the same as they are for every game. Uh, Okay. I think I took a shot. Oh. 
This game's not very good. I'm literally just hitting X. What? Am I supposed to hit it like again? Oh. Clear the ball. Oh, that went in okay, of course. What? It's literally so hard to understand how anything is happening here. What? How did he get the... Like the narratives like you've been... What? I don't... Oh, so you're setting like plays. That's why that's why it's like not responding at all when I'm like hitting the button to just go. This is surprisingly complicated, but also not an interesting way. I don't understand how you to return to the option screen. Wait, what? Select L1. Holy crap. Okay, wait. 24 point game. Yeah, we're going to 40. 10 minutes. I can be any of these teams. Turnover, cool. There, now it's... I don't know what... Oh. It's because I got the ball, but... It's so hard to tell. I like all the points are off of free throws is hilarious to me. What? Offense. This game's like really impressive for what it's doing. What? I was able to tell anything that's going on here. It's making the threes every single time, though I think it technically wasn't a three. We went from winning by three points to not doing anything. What? 
I don't I don't understand how the steals are happening. Like I'm literally stopping to take a shot and it's What? Finally. Somehow I still have it. What the heck kind of ball arc is that? That should be three shots. I have to hold down just so I don't go out of bounds if I get a rebound. So I'm holding up. I don't think I've gotten a single point off of an actual shot. Oh boy. Basically, Steph Curry was predicted by this game. Jamin! Oh, there's your double dunk. Uh... Moments. 1989 is wild. Uh, let's see what else is on here. I think the rest of these are mostly in order. Maze craze. Uh, wait, there it is. Subtitled, A Game of Cops and Robbers. A.K.A. Maze Mania in its Sears release. Randomly generates a series of blocks as an abstraction of... A Crowded city streets. Compete so you can escape. Okay, um. I get beeping every time. Nope, that's the wrong way. Uh, I need to go. Nope, we went completely the wrong way. This is a two player game, so it's not gonna be that competitive here. Um. I don't think I wanna go down or. I don't want to go up. Okay, we just want to go down this way. Yeah! There we go. Finally a win. Uh, I think we want to go down. Oh, nope. Let's, they changed that. Yeah, I think I see it here. Nope. I think it's waiting for the blue player to go. So we're just being like, no, screw the blue player. Okay, I want to go this way, this way? Yeah, this way. Now I'm just using the D pad because that's much easier. That needs to be given a score here instead of 1 1 1. Uh, so, yeah, that's Maze Craze. There's not much to that game. On a 
Uh, maybe one of the, the variants has something else going on. Oh, is this like, you can't see uh, stuff here? Two robbers. Sure, why not that? Uh, wait, uh, oh, okay, I see. What? Oh, they're the cops. Okay, so we're trying to get out of here without them reaching us. It seems like it's inevitable for them. Like that blue one's blocking me the entire way. This isn't much of a game. Especially when you don't have two people playing. That's a variance, but let's play one with the holy crap. Over a hundred? I guess I could. How about I just do this? Wait, no, that's... We're going to do one where it doesn't have any of it to show on the screen. There we go. Oh, oh, peeks there for a second. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope. Uh, nope, um. Nope, going to dead end, okay. Uh, where did I go wrong? I think I was supposed to go up here? Nope. Uh, is it all the way back around? It's probably all the way back around. There we go. Nope. Yep. Nope. I think it's this way and then all the way around? Nope. Uh, this way? Nope. Wait, where did I mess up? Nope. I'm in the wrong place. Like this way? Nope. Where did I mess up? Okay, it's down there in the bottom. Oh, it's all the way back. It's all the way down here. I see it. Oh, we did it. Thank goodness. So yeah, there's your, there's your whole thing there. For Maze Craze, a game for two players, uh, oh, with a crazy amount of, uh, variants. 256 video games, as it says there.
And definitely a game that represents what's on the box art. So there's that, uh, there's miniature golf. Okay, just two variants. Alright, so... I think we're... They're officially playing. Oh, I see. Okay. Like, this is the putter? Trying to go this way, not great. There we go. Probably better to do this. Maybe what they intend, I don't know. Alright, so... I'm gonna give it like... There? Alright, so... If we go by their logic here, just go like... Boom! Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this isn't good. It's probably fine for the time it came in, but... You know, the, the control options are not particularly great. Alright. Uh... Yeah, it's still... Uh, I don't know what the like the scoring is. Just probably in the instruction manuals. Uh number of hole, par for hole. Oh. I'm guessing you're supposed to write it down. Yeah, they're explaining the concept of how this game plays, which is fine. Pretty simple manual though. There we go. All right. Okay, that's fine. 32? I've not hit it 32 times. Sticks, huh. Alright, there we go. And then, boom. There we go. Yeah, par for the whole seven, because they're like, uh, who knows how you're going to get. Oh, that's my overall score. Okay. Oh, 
don't know. Okay, um, this way. There we go. Now we need to just get across here. There we go. And then. Oh no. I should not have gone that far back. Oh. No. Wow, that got all the way there. Okay. Uh, oh, here. How is that supposed to get in there? Okay, we're supposed to get over there. There we go. Oh, jeez, that's a tiny hole. Let's see if we can figure out the angle here. Nope, that's not the angle. Okay, we should be... Yep, yep. Force. The control for this thing is not great. Oh! Okay. We're okay here. do on time okay not too bad I think we're just gonna call it that game's okay it's not anything amazing it's miniature golf moto rodeo is next sorry about that uh, let's see. Yeah, this is 1990. Very late for an Atari 2600 game. Uh, yeah, we're still in the... These are actual games that came out. Uh, we got one more. Uh, prototype called Save Mary and one more homebrew sequel called Return to Haunted House. Uh, but yeah, let's see here. Apologies. I got socks on that I'm trying to get off now. Okay. Developed by Axion, a company founded by Nolan Bushnell after he left Atari, so... Okay. Oh. Like, options. Rock tracks? I see. Yeah, smash that truck. Just flying us across the track, I don't... Uh oh. 
Must be amazing audio here. the end okay I don't know what we let me see the instruction manuals for this uh, controls use fire button and controller to speed up and maneuver your truck blazer if you pick up a nitro unit and N Tap the direction forward to use the nitro for a quick burst. Regular the directional controls right and left to move quickly through muddy bogs. Oh. Okay. Uh, move the directional control backward to do a wheelie if you're on flat ground. Okay. As it says here, keep on trucking. So, okay, we know a little more about what to do here. me hitting left and right on the money bog. still beat the crap out of me. We I don't know if there's supposed to be like a better way to deal with cars. Yeah, like it's finishing so faster, so much faster than I am. Resume play. There's no pause option when you play Moto Rodeo on a 2600 system. Uh, let's see. I don't know if there's any other. Trying to jump and control your truck or blazer in the air. Practice racing up a short triangular ramp. If you're landing on top of a car, wriggle the controller left and right to crush the car again. You will jump instead of continuing to crush the car. What? How did... I'm done. I don't I don't fully understand what exactly it's trying to tell me there, but we'll move on to the next one here. Uh I will be returned to a haunted house. All these real sports games. Here we go. This is a homebrew. Oh, 
Only by finding Graves' skull, by turning it to its underground crypt, will the town of Spirit Bay be freed from its supernatural uh, curse. So, I've never been a big fan of Haunted House. Uh, let's see. You will hear a sound that will notify you of an object in tow. Use a shovel to dig up the grave and cover the mysterious crypt beneath. Okay. Wherever that's at. Oh, is this? There we go. I don't think I need the, the shovel anymore. Scepter will protect you from the ghosts. Uh, touching ghosts with the scepter. Here may not work, sometimes you can banish ghost. Climber walls normally, unreachable areas, and perhaps some secrets. Hmm. So I need something to get to. Do I need the, the shovel after all? I don't, I don't understand. I'll just leave that there because there's scepter. Am I just supposed to find the headstone or the, the skull? Yeah, I'm not a fan of this game. Not a fan of the original either. That's nothing against this is like this is a bad game. I've just never been able to really get any of these games. Yeah, I'm just... I'm fine, moving on. There you go, that's your homebrew sequel to... Uh, let's see... Back here, let's see, Save Mary. This is a, a prototype game. At the bottom of a canyon that's filling with water, it's up to you to build for a platform high enough for you to reach her with your crane and pull her to safety. So by Todd Fry, the creator of Sword Quest, in 1990, this action puzzle game was not officially released until it appeared on the Atari Flashback 2. Yeah, they brought back a few games for that thing. Okay. So we can just play. Let's try Novice. Okay. Uh, 
I think I'm basically doing this so that she has somewhere to go. Nope, oh, I was not connected to anything. Oh. I was wondering if you could kill her with it. And the answer is yes. She's not that smart. I don't know what that was. That's a two. Lady, you need to move. Novice difficulty. Alright. Be perfect, or it's not worth bothering with. I have to look what what's up with the one and the two. That looks like you can have it more precariously set up, but I don't know. Multi pylons, what? Give you bonus points depending on the number shown. She's in pretty good shape though, at this point. What? Oh, that was perfect. Alright, this is definitely easy mode now. Step for Mary, uh, being very dumb. So Mary. Okay. I get points for how many little bits I got on there. Always good to have a bunch of flashing lights. That's always great for everybody. So. With that, we're going to save and we're going to move on. Showed you how uh, that game's... That game's pretty decent for what it is. Uh, what else? The last one here. Super Football. There you go. Uh, which I'm sure is... Okay. By different difficulties. Probably make a lot of sense. Uh, I'm just gonna casually look at the the manual just to be sure. Uh, let's see. Buckle down and score. Press the joystick fire button to hike the ball. 
Uh, after about four seconds, the button is not pressed. Care out their plays, defensive. Okay, well, I think we'll figure this out. Run. It's Michael Vick. Or somebody that hasn't beaten up dogs. Sure. I definitely did that. I definitely did that. I'm just hitting like one button for it to do it. I don't think you can throw. I think that's a thing. Is open before throwing the ball to him. Not pass the ball once he crosses the scrimmage line. Yeah, it's like the one that flickers, I guess, is the one you can pass to. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I'm the pink one. Or whatever the color that is. One looks different than the others, so. Like, it's got a, a timer and all that. That's at least, like, impressive. Stopped him. On the 24-yard line. Seven yards to go. Sacked. For a loss of two yards. Time's winding down. See what they can do on third down and nine. They get two yards and it's fourth down. What are they going to do? Are they going to kick it? They're going to kick it. And I guess it's good. I guess it's good. Yeah, whatever. But here we go. Kick us the ball here. See if we can score. I assume it understands the concept of corners, but... Oh, this is the return. Okay. Okay. End of the quarter. Alright, it's just like... Alright, you're... You're good. Oh, we caught it? Did we catch it? I don't know. Okay. Okay, we didn't. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What? 
Am I guiding the ball? Is... Oh, hey, Pansu. Yeah. A lot of these games, this was an era where people didn't understand epilepsy. Oh, we just punted. Okay. So a lot of them, like, they're, uh, they're flashing, flashing colors. Luckily, this game, not too much of anything flashy going on. There we go. Got him stopped. I don't like that they tie the difficulty into the, how long the quarters are. Also, the way that they scale the players in the background is kind of wild. Yeah, there we go. Got a sack there. Yay, there we go. So if you can keep the, the wide receiver kind of occupied, they don't throw it, as far as I can tell. Stopped them short. All right, another field goal. That's good for us. The time keeps going. They don't. They don't have the concept of. Sure. I think it just automates it. It's like within a certain distance, you can kick a field goal, and you probably are okay. Oh, getting tripped up on my own players. Okay. Maybe we'll learn how to play here. Hmm. Yeah. Even though I threw an incomplete pass that just went up, uh, the time just keeps going either way. All right. I think we'll just finish the game here and then we'll move on to the next thing. Got him. 25 is not bad. It's pretty impressive visually for what this is, keeping track of the yards and that kind of stuff and representing that pretty decently. It just could use something to designate like the 50 yard line, that kind of thing. But other than that, it's doing all right. There, it turns all the scoreboard into red when you're at the 50. All right, first down for them. We need to stop them here. They have like motions and that kind of stuff and that's kind of wild. Oh, we got that one. Interception. Easily, you could tell easily that's what happened there.
Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got that one. Yeah, multicolored markers. Yeah, sometimes. Have I run? Yeah. Just got a good running quarterback. It's flexible as a football game that's, you know, you wouldn't necessarily have the ability to, like, run, run, run with your quarterback in you know, Madden for a while. I don't think that was like a, an easy thing to do. There's like, I, if the guy has the ball, he can go forward and run. It's not too concerned about that kind of stuff. Which is probably a pretty, a pretty decent advantage. These kind of games could do. Does not worry so much about rules. Yeah, there you go. You're just going to have to shadow the wide receiver and then hope your defense gets something in there. All right. Third down and three. Sack, fourth down. All right, get the hang of this now. It's not bad. I feel like some of that control on the punt return is not great. Kick and punt returns are probably the worst part of the game. Oh, he's turning around. He's turning around. Oh, five yards. All that for five yards. Oh, the passing game is also not very good. It's just real tough to understand what you're doing wrong. Which is why my two touchdowns is just me running it in from like 60 yards out. That's the, the extent of what I understand this to be. Oh, we're punting. Okay, that's fine. We're up by eight points. They're not going to score. Oh, over in. So there's no way to stop the clock, so they got rapidly diminishing time. They're forced to waste so much of it just picking a, a play. There's no concept of a timeout in this game.
What? I stopped him. They're literally going to run out of time before they can even do anything. Or they're going to let him have it. There we go. We win. 14-3. 14-13. Oh, it just goes right into a new game. So yeah, there's Super Football. That's pretty decent for what it is. It's just very bare bones, but you could do it. It has two player versions, which that'd be wild to play. But uh, what else is on this list? I think that's it for all the 2600 stuff. So that's 11 2600 games. The ones I, bowling's okay. Uh, miniature golf is, mm, it's middling. I'm trying to think, Aqua Venture is pretty decent. Save Mary's pretty decent. Super Football's pretty decent. Otherwise, everything else is kind of not great. But uh, let's go to the links section. I don't think they had. I don't think they added anything else for the other platforms uh, for like the 7800. I know a couple of these games had 7800 or 5200 games, but I don't think they added anything else to these. No. We we'll go to the links. Uh, was it Warbirds? Warbirds is the new game. I think this was one they were hoping to add originally, but uh, that is a uh, orange it, but it's a flight combat game. <laughs> just get a, a glimpse of what the controls are like squadron colors rooster rampant griffin oscar the skeletons and maltese cross okay controls fire weapon change view toggle engine indicate landing okay oh these are inverted that's right so I told down to go up and dive to go down. Uh, up to go down. Uh, let's see. That's probably good enough. No, I want less ammo. lives let's try it in flight simulator mode milk run This is kind of nauseating the way it's animated here. Oh, it's just... I was wondering what the alternate view was. It's just reverse. Yeah! One air victory, rank rookie. Uh, I was gonna see what the, the filter off mode looks like. Not great. All right. Hey, it's one of these games that you can, uh, this maybe looks a little better this way. Yeah. 
Yeah, not doing too great. Though neither are we. Because we're... Being very dumpy over here. There we go. Yeah, look at that. We're gonna watch you crash. Wee. All right, kicking some butt. Yeah, no milk, uh, unfortunately, but that's uh, that's all right with us. Eventually, it'll decide that we are okay to move over. I like these meters. That I don't really understand what they're doing here. Oops. Yeah, there's somebody. But I do like this kind of game having options be like, now just make me invincible. I just want to shoot ships down. Reset game, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, what is arcade action? Let's try the Red Baron. We might have been running through these missions, but I'm gonna guess arcade action means. You have more immediate control. Yeah. Like there's less of a need to worry about physics. Physics. Oh, he's down there. Or... There we go. They're right behind us. Good tail on us. Like, it looks pretty good for a Lynx game. Oh, it's just me turning off the engine. that jerk at I need a bank Exactly how that's supposed to work. All right, we'll get. We're good.
Ironically, it's harder in arcade mode than the simulator mode. I can hold left and right to see on my sides, okay. There we go. Got a bunch of shots right there. Taking some hits. This is a pretty impressive game. Oh, that's oh, this is pretty cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just swirling the stick around to see where I'm aiming at. Okay, it's behind me. I don't know what this is on the ground. Because everybody knows about the pyramids that are all over the place here. There you are. Do a barrel roll. There we go, we did it. Right into these clouds. See these atmospheric clouds here. All right. We lost the Red Baron. There they are. Always shoot at the enemy while you're upside down. I don't know what I'm hitting. Shooting the clouds. Is the Red Baron even anywhere? What's the three? There they are. leader
There we go. Hey, you turn off your engine for like a faster turn. But yeah, I think it's a pretty decent look at that game. That's pretty neat. Also, this man with the mustache here. Oh, didn't intend for that. This guy is pretty cool. Do any more cool? Oh, here we go. Here's your Porco Rosso style uh, artwork here. Also, this skeleton certainly is a, a design. Ooh. A radical right roll. Increasing altitude decreases airspeed. Oh, that's some pretty good art. Where did you come from? Ooh. Nineteen ninety one. Printed in Hong Kong. All right, great. Okay, this is our guy. That's the evil guy. He's got a scarf, that's why. Because he's European. Oh, this is World War One. okay. So this would be at uh, the time of the Red Baron. That was a World War One thing. So yeah, that's, that's uh, Warbirds. That's a pretty solid game. We'll just try and crash into the ground. See how that goes. Go very fast right into the ground. Right into a pyramid. Take that, green pyramids. Oh, they just disappear. There we go. Oh, is the, the three your lives? Aha. Uh -huh. I got infinite lives, so it doesn't matter, but, uh, there you go. Yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna do it. That's, uh, those are the 12 games in, uh, uh the big updates here, uh, along with some, their, uh, patch notes just says minor bug fixes, so, there you go. If you have Atari, uh, Atari 50, the anniversary celebration, you can check that out, uh, Lots of cool stuff in this collection, and they added more for the holidays. I don't know if they're going to add much more else to it. I think they've said they would like to, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, but yeah, you got a lot of like late Atari 2600 stuff. Stuff that came out after the NES uh, was out, maybe even some stuff that was out around the time of the Super Nintendo. Because the Atari 2600 still had a fairly decent lifespan. Even after the crash, uh, people were making more uh, moderate amounts of Atari cartridges later in that whole thing. Uh, so you can definitely like look up some of those late, late-ass Atari games and see what uh, that is. But yeah, there's the Atari 50 collection. That's going to do it. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll be back to stream on Thursday and Friday. Um, I think one of those days we'll do the God of War Valhalla stuff. Uh, Friday we might start our uh, Christmas game. Uh, they'll be on, I think, the PS5 here. Unless I do it on Steam, but... I'll give you a little hint if I can find it in here. Um... I think it should be here. There you go. Cthulhu Saves Christmas uh, will be a fun time there uh, for that. 
I'll play through this uh, Eldritch Horror Christmas game. Exactly what everybody wants. I've not... Well, I have played this. Well, I couldn't remember if I had or not. I played this last year. Hmm. We'll start a new save because I don't I don't remember any of this. But I presume they have a save for this. So yeah, there you go. That's gonna be the, the Christmas game we're playing. You might also play uh there's a Steam game that the the digital clips people put out. Uh they if you were part of their newsletter, they sent out free codes for some of that stuff. Uh they have an arcade what they call Digital Clips Arcade Jolly Ball. We could play a little bit of that, and so maybe I'll get the uh, the Christmas DLC for Lake uh, that I've been curious to get. So, yeah, that's going to do it. So thank you all for tuning in. Hope you have a good rest of your week if you do not return. But we'll be back uh, tomorrow. I think, I think the next couple of weeks here will definitely be... Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday stream stuff uh, just based on how my schedule looks so that'll be okay so and I think I will be streaming New Year's Eve I'll find something fun to stream for that uh, but I'm in kind of game of the year mode where I'm gonna put some more time into some of the stuff that I want to figure out where it's going to be on my end of the year list and see how that goes so uh, yeah Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you have a good rest of your week, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.